<laughs> welcome. Welcome, Hi, everybody. Everyone. Welcome, everyone. Good evening. Hey, welcome. Feel free to unmute yourself, turn your camera off. We'd love to see you. And chat at us. If you're wearing any cute outfits or have any beautiful art in your home, we'd love to just share. We'd love to see it. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Happy Tuesday. <laughs> Oh, I recognize some faces. Cole, it's so nice to see you. And Liz and Gail. <laughs> Good Tuesday, everybody. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Great. Fun. Ruby. Getting ready for Thanksgiving. <laughs> Look, yes, please pop in. We're, we would love for you to share in the chat where you're hailing from, where you're coming in from. We would, we have had people from all over. Netherlands earlier. Um, we, we had Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Orange County, woo, Long Island. Welcome, welcome. Oh, I love seeing it. I love seeing where everyone's from. This is I the beauty of virtual. We get to be anywhere. The fireplaces in the background are so inviting. Cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> I love it. Northern California, woo! Okay, Long Island, Albany, yay! Vermont. Yeah, true. Welcome. <laughs> awesome. Welcome, everybody. Anybody have anything? One great tidbit to share before we get started. <laughs> Feel free. Rhode Island, ooh. Oh yeah, we have Rhode Island, I think, yes. That's close. Ish. Okay, I think we're ready to get started, anybody? How's everybody sure, feeling? Sure. Uh, good. Good, awesome, okay. Uh, before, please feel free to keep, be unmuted for now and have your cameras on. We're going to have a toast oh, and then we'll God. start talking. So we have the, your camera is located at the bottom of your screen. If you do want to turn it on, there's features there with muting and unmuting. If you have a noisy background, please feel free to mute yourself. Right now while we're toasting, please feel free to unmute yourself. Okay, we also love the chat feature, which you saw people putting where they're from in. Um, this works best on the computer. On an iPad or iPhone, you might have a little bit of issues where the chat feature and the application will cover the screen so you can't see us. So you might get a little confused, so just be aware of that. Um, during the presentations, we will be popping in artists' websites. And you can also let us know which pieces you are loving or send questions that we will we will try our best to respond to. And if we don't get to them during the presentation, we will have time at the end where we're gonna have like a little bit more open party time where you get to ask questions. We'll try some stuff on, look at different pieces of art, uh, talk about maybe process. So stay tuned. Uh, and if we also wanna let you know if there are any major technical difficulties and the party ends abruptly, we will email you a new Zoom link and post a new link as an updated link to the top of our homepage at artpartycentral.org. So now that all that technical stuff is out of the way, let's have a quick cheers to being all together and happy Tuesday, happy Thanksgiving week. Yes. Cheers, cheers you guys. Cheers. Yeah, from all over the country. Cheers. <laughs> thank you so much for being here, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Pennsylvania, yes. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. You hey. welcome, Megan. King of Prussia. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we're ready to get started. I want to, um, we're going to start by muting you for now. We will come back to you in a second. Okay. Just Zoom protocol as we go through the presentations. I am gonna unmute myself. Hi, welcome. We're gonna mute everybody for now. And we'll at the end have time where everybody will be unmuted. So I wanna just introduce myself and my co-host. I am Megan Patrice Riley. I am a co-founder of Art Party Central. I am. I share tonight with my co-hosts, Sam and Nora from Swan and Stone Millinery. We'll be doing 
all that technical stuff like the chat and are are available to you if there are any issues during the presentation. So feel free to chat at them as admin. You can see them under Swan and Stone. Um, it is my pleasure to be here tonight and I'm gonna kind of set the ground rules and introduce you to each of the artists. Uh, <laughs> we've been really lucky to introduce you to six or seven artists tonight. We have Kathleen Taznakis of Ecologic, Joy Stember from Joy Stember Metal Arts, Nina Valenti from Nature versus Future, Judith Haas from Judith Haas Jewelry and Art, Gail Travis from NFP New Form Perspective, Clara Applewhite Mitchell from Clara Applewhite Designs, and Barry Gross from BG Art Forms. I'm going to tell you how this party is going to shake out. So a little bit of ground rules before we get started. Each of the seven artists will be giving a presentation. And if time allows, we'll have about one or two questions. So we do love it when you pop things into the chat because that really helps us know what you're interested in. At the end of the party, we'll raffle one $50 gift certificate for each artist's websites. That's seven chances to win just for hanging out with us today. You do have to be present to win, so stick around till the end. We'll also be giving you a special discount code at the end of the party which will be good for all seven of the artists' websites. Just as our thank you for being here and a little, like, just a little gift to you. At the end of the party, we'll open up, we'll be opening everybody up and the unmuting everybody and having our video off. And we'd love to chat with you. And we'll take more questions and have more time to just explore each of the artists. Um, so let's get started. Our first artist is Kathleen Taznakis of Ecologic Clothing Accessories. Kathleen. Hi, everybody. So nice to see you all here. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Today's kind of a special day. I mean, all, all people are preparing for Thanksgiving. Hopefully you are able to stay home with your loved ones and um, Zoom chat or whatever it is that you keep yourself safe. But I just want to say that um, today's a great day just to be thankful. I'm very thankful to be a co-founder of Art Party Central and to be supported by such wonderful community of artists and uh, also be supported by fantastic customers such as yourself. So um, thank you, thank you, thank you. I think that's the uh, word of the evening. Um, some of you have not met me. I'm Kathleen Tesnakis, and I am a recycling fashion designer. And what that means um, is that I actually use old cashmere sweaters that I deconstruct, wash, and create fabric out of. Um, this enables me to be a sustainable company. I do all of this work um, without any additional dyes and chemicals. Uh, I take the old garments and um, create fabric out of it. And as you can see, my palette is always very um, varied. So to be able to get enough fabric for each piece is um, quite a feat, but that's also what makes it really, really fun. All of the pieces that I create here are made like paintings. Um, the sweater that I'm wearing right here is called the butterfly. I'm gonna move this down so you can see it a little bit better, but it's wonderful with wide pants, dresses, skirts, uh, just a really fun, super comfortable piece uh, to have in your wardrobe. I also do classic sweaters. And as you can see in the back, I do ribbed skirts out of the waistbands of sweaters. In the studio, the whole concept is about being as close to zero waste as possible. So when I'm deconstructing the old garments, I am saving the tiniest little bits to um, create new product out of. Um, my mittens are a really great example of that, where you can see I've taken the scrap waste of other things and felt it and collaged it into my mittens. And they also have something special inside. Um, this is another use of of a tiny piece of fabric. So all of my mittens have a hidden pocket inside. It's a full mitten, but you can just scrunch the fabric down to use your fingers. 
Uh, I love these this season because I can do everything I need to do. I can wear it as a muff as I want. Um, if I have to button my coat, unzip, or get things at the farmer's market, these mittens are fantastic for that. And they are a thick felted cashmere. I wish you could feel them if we only had feel a vision here. <laughs> but uh, uh, I do hats and many different styles, um, mittens and many different styles of hats as well. This is the Saturn design hat. Um, I designed this piece so you would have a little extra fabric right here in the back if you had ponytails uh, or if you like wore glasses that it could like cover your ears and frame your face beautifully but have a little extra um, dimension and uh, drama in, in a good hat. Um, I brought some pieces that are off the steam table today and um, just as a, a, what I've been doing lately is really getting into um, presenting once a week from the studio live on Wednesdays, which you are welcome to come to. And I actually show the work that I have in process or pieces that are coming off the steam table. And today I have brought you some really favorite pieces that were just finished this week um, off the steam table. So this one, I am so thankful to have been able to create this. You're not going to find it on the website. As I mentioned, it's just absolutely brand new. But I was able to piece together these really gorgeous um, sequins uh, in this hat. I'm going to put it on for you so you can see how our beret style um, fits. But you can just shape it. Shape it however you like it. And that's kind of the beauty of it. The, the colors just really move and change. Um, this is a one of a kind piece, certainly. Uh, I have another favorite one of a kind. These are, anytime I do patterns or collections, these are collector's editions. Uh, all of my work is one of a kind, uh, but these are extra special. So if you do love very funky patterns and certain pieces, when you see something like this, grab it because they don't last and they don't come around again. Um, I also wanted to show you a new piece that is finally on my website. This is my neck scarf and it is, uh, it's actually called the twist scarf and it's just so wonderful to have one of these in your bag just a gentle tie here um, you can put a brooch if you want you can do one of those um, scarf uh, rings if you have one I really just love just twisting it like this it's so simple so easy and so comfortable and warm I also designed them that if you did want to do like a fun hair piece you could just do that also. So let's see if I can style myself here. Um, so it works just for good hair and ear coverage or neck coverage, totally flexible and double layers of cashmere. Do you have any questions for me, Megan? Wow, I do. And I want to say, I love that you just put that up on the website. That is one of my, it's such a simple piece, but so useful and <laughs> I really, as you know, my whole family has that piece, so yes. <laughs> um, I do have questions for you. My first question is, what keeps you inspired to create? Oh, my goodness. Well, uh, you know, when I started um, creating from the waste stream, one of the things that I really loved is that things are always different. So as an artist, I am inspired by these crazy bits of, of fabric and knits and um, different textures that come in and I'm just driven to make something out of it. I also get thrilled at the recycling process like when um, you know when my waistbands were just like teeming and going to I always say the fabric if you don't take care of it or create from it it's like literally starts to eat you alive. So you know, totally. yeah. as a recycler, you know, I have to look at my shells and say, oh my goodness, I'm not using this type of piece that's coming off this scrap. What can I make out of it? And um, that's how the skirts, sorry. I love, okay, yes, okay. By the way, this new one, this is really cute. Thank you. Thank you. So I have a yeah. tricky sweater on top, um, which is this, and I'll, I'll just spin the back around for you. Um, but the skirt is made out of all of those waistbands mm. that I couldn't figure out what to do with. I don't know if you can see the knit texture. It's great. There. I love that because you can see the word seam together. Yes. The rib, and it makes sense. And I think it gives it a really nice, it fits really nice against the body. It forms better. 
Yes. To people because it, it's kinetic in a way. Okay. I own this. Also. Yeah. Well, I mean, <laughs> they're so super comfortable and flexible. Yeah. They yeah. look nice, but you can wear them at home. And I, I yeah, think cozy. Actually, um, all of my work, like people wear my mittens while they're typing on their computer on their front porch or just snuggle up in one of my sweaters. I, I have a rule with some of these things. Sometimes I'll go out to dinner in it and then I get to wear it like five times in a row at the house. So. Mm -hmm. I love that. Okay, really quick before we go, because one question that came in, I think that's really great. How long is that little, what's that little scarf called? Oh. How, how long is that about? Okay. And I'm lucky. I have Dandy Dandy. Um, it is 34 inches. Ooh, 34. Okay, I was proud, right? 36. Okay. By the uh, way, questions like that, we will be answering more at the end. So there's more that came in, Kathleen. We will have to wait till the end. Uh, okay. Thanks so much, Kathleen. We are on to our next artist. Thank you. Thank you. Our next artist we're going to be hearing from is Joy Stember. Joy Stember Metal Arts. Joy, welcome. Hi, how are you? Hi, um, I'm looking. I think you're looking at my parents. Yes, I'm not sure how. <laughs> we need to go to. <laughs> Hi, mom. Yes, hello. <laughs> Sorry. Multiple. Um, I don't know how to. How I to think Nora me. is doing this, right? So okay. I'm doing it also. I mean, I'm here as well, and I just don't see Joy. Um, we have Jay Stember, and it is without video. Oh, here we go. No, Jay Stember is my dad. Okay, got it. Done. Hey. Oh, hi. awesome. Welcome. <laughs> Yay. Thank so you. hi, I'm Joy. Um, I create a contemporary handmade pewter Judaica and objects for the home. I uh, specialize in um, doing really intricate textures um, through an embossing method. Um, this is my um, Oh, and of course my battery is dying. Oh man. All right. So this is my uh, large pebble texture. Um, I create my textures by um, etching them into brass and then roll printing them. Um, pewter is very soft, so it, it takes a texture really easily. Um, I went to uh, Tyler School of Art, Temple University, where I studied metal smithing and jewelry design. But it wasn't until um, I went to Penland School of Crafts and studied with Fred Fenster where I found a love for pewter. Um, so I, it was unlike any material I'd ever worked with before. And what's great about pewter is that it doesn't tarnish. It doesn't rust. Um, it stays nice and shiny as the day I create it. It is also a lead free product. So it is food safe. Um, I started making Judaica after I went on a birthright trip to Israel in 2010. So, um, all the work that I came home and started to make what ended up being uh, Judaica. Um, I was a custom picture framer at the time and I decided that, you know, life is too short and um, I made a, a small body of work. I applied to a number of different shows, um, including the Smithsonian. I got in and um, kind of hit the ground running and I've been in business for the last 10 years. So I'd like to show you some of my favorite products um, that I have been making. Um, I do, so these are candle holders. This is my stone texture. You can see um, it's a really nice deep etched um, one. But what's great about my candle holders is that they come with two sets of inserts. So you have one for Shabbat candles or a, um, a, a five eighths inch candle, and then you have one for uh, taper candles. Um, so you can use the candle holders for any occasion. I also do um, a lot of 3D printing. Um, this is my 3D printed dreidel. This is 3D printed in steel and um, it has been plated in gold. This is one of my best spinners. It really just um, is perfect for that dreidel collector. Um, one of my other most favorite um, menorahs that I designed on the computer had the model uh, 3D printed is this one. This is uh, my bronze menorah and I'm just going to turn it so you can see that it has really some dramatic movement to it. This is a limited edition of eight pieces. This is actually number six. Um, so there's only uh, only a few left and um, oh, there goes a candle. Um, but 
my most popular menorah is this one. This is fabricated from pewter and brass. And what is really cool about this one is that the candle holder parts are threaded. So you can screw your candle into them so they don't wiggle and fall out. Um, it really makes it a, a wonderful um, usable menorah that's basically easy to clean. You just run it under hot water and use a Q-tip and the wax just comes right out. No need to scrape them, scrape the wax out. Um, yeah, I also do a lot of other uh, home items like uh, bottle stoppers and uh, napkin rings, bowls. Um, so this one is 3D printed as well. This is uh, pr printed in nylon, um, but yeah. Uh, Megan, you got any questions for me? Okay, yes, I do have questions. Wait a minute. Do you do a lot of colors on the, in the 3D printing for the wine bottle openers? Do you do multiple colors in that with the I can, nylon yeah. Drawing? Okay. I can do um, uh, maybe about five different colors. Um, since I don't do the printing myself, I get it done um, at a facility yeah. in New York yeah. and they yeah. have a limited range of colors. I know that you can get them printed in like, uh, like fuchsia and black and purples and all different kinds of colors. Oh, cool. So that would be like, I could see that in lots of different colors being a fun uh, little gift. For, yes, absolutely. For, it's yeah. a really affordable gift. They, they retail um, at uh, uh, $50. So, and then with the gift code that you get at the end of the show, um, it really makes it a, a really or nice- if you win the gift the holidays. Holidays. Yes, okay, beautiful. Oh, I also, lo okay, I love, I love metal and 3D printing. And can you tell us a little bit about the pewter, just a touch, like, cause that's kind of an yeah. unusual material. Yeah, so pewter is, um, is, is basically made up of tin. It's tin, antimony, and copper. And it is um, a very soft material. But like I said, it doesn't rust and it won't tarnish um, and it is food safe. So um, it, it's kind of like working with slabs of clay or wax in a way that um, even though it keeps its rigidity, it can also, um, you can add to it, you can subtract from it. Um, and it, it- Interesting. It, yeah. Okay, like as a technical person, I totally get that. But for other people, what, yeah. is it food safe? Is it have yeah. lead in it? Okay. Yeah, it's a it little bit safe. Different. Yeah, it doesn't have lead, so anything that you would use for food or drink um, is completely uh, food safe. Cool. Um, anything that isn't um, used for food, um, don't put it in your mouth. You know, like you wouldn't put a, a normal metal oh, yeah, object cool. in your mouth. <laughs> okay, and then one of the questions that did come in was, yeah. "What is your most popular Hanukkah item?" Uh, my most popular Hanukkah item is my twisted dreidel. This is um, 3D printed and it is, um, it so is cute. nice and twisted and it just looks super cool when you spin it. How do you come up with these such curve, these curves with a lot of open space in them, right? Um, yeah, I, I, um, I like to use 3D printing for things that I can't build, um, myself. Mm -hmm. So if I can't build it out of a, a sheet or um, something like that, like to build this kind of a piece would take hours and hours and hours using wires. Um, whereas 3D printing, it, it's much more of an affordable um, method. I really love the, uh, the juxtaposition of the hard metal and the soft curves um, really that kind of happen with these pieces. Wait, so it's super ergonomic. Yeah. It works. It works. I'm, I'm guessing like a dream. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. I was like, that's, that's it. We probably have more questions at the end. I honestly want to see, we need to spin one at the end. I want to see them like all going. Cause I think they look beautiful and the, I see some more in the back there as well. You have other options. So yeah, I did just see that somebody asked about my, um, the candle holders cool. that, yes. um, that hold the shards. So Ooh. my, um, yeah, so the, my most popular wedding present are these candle holders and I have another mezuzah that's on the website. Um, so actually the tops of these lift off, the couple can fill it with the glass shards. And then I, I give you a packet of epoxy to then seal it. So once they're done and everything is, they, they have the glass the way that they want it, um, they can seal it and have it, you know, forever. And again, the candle 
candle pieces do come off um, to change the size of the candle. So it's a do it yourself oh, so item. Smart. I love that, but it's it's mostly done, just like sealing it for the longevity forever. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's quite a keepsake. Really nice. Oh, oh, awesome. Okay, thank you so much, Joy. Yeah, Thanks for thank sharing. you. We'll come back. Okay. Okay. Next, our next artist we're going to hear from is Nina Valenti of Nature versus Future. Na Nina, welcome. <laughs> Hi, thank you, Art Party, for organizing this and all of you for spending this time with us. I'm Nina Valenti. I'm the founder of Nature versus Future. Um, a little about my bit about myself. I am first generation, born and raised New Yorker. My parents are Italian immigrants. And I learned how to sew from my grandmothers that were seamstresses. And I basically spent time always playing with their fabric scraps and making uh, pieces for Barbie, for myself and for my sisters. I always, I pretty much always wanted to be a designer because I was always creating stuff. Um, I went to Parsons and um, then I started working in the in streetwear. And then in 2002, I launched Nature versus Future because I wanted to create my own vision and fashion. Um, basically fusing my love of art and architecture, line, texture, and form um, to create everyday wearable pieces, um, just basically fashion as collectible wearable art. Um, I liked mixing natural and technological fabrics into really cool modern silhouettes and creating just kind of classic edgy styles that are timeless. Um, pretty much most of my pieces in my collection, you wouldn't even know when they were created because they don't, they're not um, trend, any any kind of trend. They, um, I have clients that come back to me that have pieces from when I first started in 2002, and then they come see me and they're still wearing it. Um, or sometimes they're passed down to their daughters or friends. Um, it's just really cool um, to be like the opposite of fast fashion where people actually want to keep your stuff and and it's created and made so well that it lasts, that, you know, it, it lasts for a long time. Um, I'm obsessed with fit and um, I, that's why I create these like innovative sculptural designs that are well tailored and basically complement a woman's shape. Um, and a lot of the pieces are asymmetrical so you can kind of play with the fit without um, altering the integrity of the design but you're actually just tailoring it to yourself. Um, I think the best thing to do is just show you some pieces. So I'm gonna show you, um, well here I have my double collar sweater jacket which comes in fleece and wools. I actually have it in some new wools now. Um, it's in a boiled wool. And um, I also have this really beautiful wool jersey. I wish you could feel it because they're really soft. Um, and I also now have it in a camel, which is really pretty. Um, and then this style um, was, uh, became such a classic staple that I now um, design like the vest version, um, which also comes in some different fabrics. Um, in this red fleece, I have it in charcoal. And also I do a cotton pique version. Um, most of the fabrics have these beautiful textures and body so that they hold the shape really well. Um, I like to do a lot of pieces that can convert um, functionally. So this is my um, water pellet rain jacket, um, which you can just wear as a really cool windbreaker. But then you can also um, zip up the hood for a rainy day. And then for just a breezy day, you kind of can just actually zip it back up and have coverage on your neck so that you're nice and warm and cozy. Um, also, they fold really small and you can just kind of pack them up to go um, for traveling and things like that. Um, um, another really cool piece is my swirl coat. Um, I like things like pop color linings to kind of add a little drama. Um, you don't see it on the outside, but when you put on your coat, or um, you know, just have it hanging open. You see this like beautiful kind of contrast color. Um, everything is really has a nice tailored shape, um, and it's like all around so that um, just accentuate a woman's shape. Um, details like this, like the swerve collar, that kind of then comes up, and then you can button it 
and again, be nice and cozy. Um, I do these really good details of um, in the cuffs. I like to make long cuffs, but then I do like a French cuff so you can flip it up. Um, it's nice because um, arm lengths are so different, but also now with like the trend of wearing, um, if you want to wear like cool gloves and things like that, it's a nice kind of detail to have. Um, some of the classics I do in different um, variations, for instance, this is a relaxed fit, for, fixed, relaxed fit version, and this is a more tailored version. Um, I have a lot of different styles like this really cool um, organic cotton blend flea sweater jacket, which has a nice funnel neck that you can then also kind of pull up into a hood. Um, I can keep showing you stuff, or if you want to ask me some questions. Okay, I'm, I, you're, you're good to go, but I do really, I really like that fleece hood. Can you tell, is that like a sweatshirt material, or is it, oh, what's the material that no, like? I actually I love sweatshirts. so cute and cozy. Yeah, this one, everything always looks so much better on, so thank you for. Totally, yes. What you're wearing is cute, too. Um, <laughs> also sweatshirty. <laughs> yes. Yes. So this one, you can kind of just button up to give fit here, and then you can wear it like this, so it kind of just looks like a really nice collar, but then if you forgot your hood or you need to cover up, you also have this nice detail. I really like the keep hood. You... It's like yeah, a coat of and... so, Yeah, just yeah. <laughs> throwing... when the weather changes within from day into night, it's just nice to have these layering details because um, mm -hmm. many a times, you know, you end up uh, wearing something and then it not being heavy enough because the temperature drops 10 degrees. So it's nice to have these kind of convertible details. Totally. Wait, one of the questions that did come up was what do you find yourself wearing a lot this season? Oh, so I um, have been living in my um, fleece sweater jackets like these because they're super comfortable. You know, our lifestyles kind of change <laughs> for this pandemic, a bit more casual <laughs> life. But, you know, I don't want to look, um, I would say, like, non-schleppy fleece. Like, it's nice and tailored, but it feels like you're wearing a sweatshirt. But then um, what I've been doing for the whole, like, outdoor dining experience and stuff yeah, like that, that is wearing uh -huh. this awesome capelet because it adds a layer of warmth. Whether you're wearing it just as a cape or, if, let's say, you're having dinner outside, you can actually put your arms through, not be restricted, and, like, look fashionable but be super warm because these, this fleece mm. just really kind of creates a nice warm layer. Um, and you kind of, you're just like, you know, wow. you're fashionable yet warm and it's nice and roomy. So you can eat whatever you want. Wait, and, is you that, can is that, stuff. <laughs> and is that also a fleece material as well as what you're saying that? Yeah, it's actually. Um, so there, I have different kinds of fleece. This is more like a sweater polar fleece. Yeah. Not sure you can see rib texture, which kind of makes it look a little bit more dressy than kind of just wearing like a polar fleece. Um, and then I'm wearing more of a sweatshirt fleece underneath. Okay. I and have that one on the top comes in lots of colors as well too, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, everything is limited because I use okay. high overstock fabric. So every season I, I basically start by just sourcing and I always have limited colors and fabrics and sometimes they sell out right away and I don't have them anymore or sometimes next season a new color pops up. So I think it's kind of cool though, because it keeps them limited. Um, and, and and I use like a lot of different novelty fabrics. Cool. So I can have awesome. it one day next, but that's what's cool about it too. <laughs> oh, cool. I think, okay, we'll I have to tune in more because we're, we're running out of time, but I know you take appointments in New York as well as Zoom. So we are yeah. posting your website right now and we're going to have time at the end to try on more things and ask more questions. So Stay yeah. tuned. Thank you so much. Thank you, sweetie. Okay, we're going on to our next artist, who is Judith Haas. Judith, welcome. Yes. Hi there. Can there you, hear you me? go. Welcome. Hi, I'm a Judith Haas for those of you don't know me. Um, thank you so much for having me here at the uh, Art Party Central. It's just my uh, second time here, and uh, I'm a jeweler and also make fine art. I'm originally from the Netherlands, but uh, I've lived in New York now for 20 years and started my business in uh, 2003. And um, let me first show you what I've been working on this month. I make these uh, fine art pieces in uh, uh, different copper alloys. This one is uh, copper with a patina. 
that I then uh, hand engraved to show the underlying uh, layer uh, in it. It's uh, in this case uh, copper and then paint on top of these and um, seal them uh, with clear lacquer. And um, the inspiration for these pieces um, is uh, how nature reclaims the urban environment. I love it how uh, uh, metal structures uh, change color when they're being exposed to the elements. And for example, uh, brass changes into uh, pink and green. And in this case, the underlying copper uh, brass is shown again. And um, these pieces, I um, make them in either in different uh, sizes. So starting from uh, six by six inch uh, to two by three foot. I also have made pieces from one by four foot. So um, I do custom made sizes. Let me show you one more that is uh, also brass. If you can see the details. And then uh, just for this uh, holiday season, I started making uh, 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 art pieces in the size of a postcard. So it's a one of a kind piece uh, that you um, can keep for life or keep in your house. And I could also engrave the back if you, uh, uh, if you would want. And these pieces are found uh, on the, in my website on their uh, po postcards. And um, then I make also uh, jewelry. Uh, the earrings that I'm wearing are uh, like these ones. They are made in fine silver that I fuse with 24 karat gold. And uh, uh, they are made with a technique called kumbu. It's a fusion of pure gold and silver with heat and pressure. And so there is no adhesion necessary or uh, soldering, it just uh, fuses together. And uh, because it's just silver and gold, there are many pieces uh, that can go with it. For example, these ones that I have. And then you see, uh, I sometimes also blacken them. So I still find silver, but then uh, oxidized that I then hand engraved into. And so these are some other examples of earrings and necklaces. And uh, then I also have uh, some bracelets in uh, these kind of um, mixture of metals. And uh, you can open them and make them your size. So this one you can do as many times as you would want. It doesn't break. You can see all the details on them. So they are kind of one size fits all. We have also some smaller ones. Let me show you these ones as well. So this one has a rutilated quartz and uh, different sizes. And I also have uh, rings. And many of the rings are adjustable in size in the back, so you can wear them with uh, different uh, fingers, on different fingers. And uh, sometimes they are open in the front, so they're a bit adjustable here. So Megan, uh, did you have any questions for me? Yes, I do. Oh, I love it. I love seeing the artwork. Okay, hey, the postcards. What a great idea. There's such a wonderful size. It feels really beautiful getting a little small piece of art. It's really interesting. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very beautiful. Um, okay, the first question that did come in is, do you also make clip-on earrings or do you do other customized adjustments to your jewelry? Yes, I do actually. These ones, um, the earrings, if they are big enough, it can do this kind of backing on them to make them into clip-on earrings. Oh, I love that, yes. So, um, yeah, there are many options for that. And uh, necklaces can be in longer sizes or smaller sizes. They already have a bit of an extension chain in the back, but uh, they can, um, if you prefer to have a much longer necklace, I can do that as well. It's getting a bit busier, so I would like to have a bit of notice, but uh, yeah, necklaces, earrings, uh, bracelets, I can do them all in different sizes. Oh, that's so great, which comes like, 
related to this, but is do you do FaceTime or Zoom appointments? It sounds like it's getting busy, so people should book now, right? If yeah. they want something special, okay. Yeah, for making uh, customized orders, that, that would be great if it could be already, uh, um, yeah, it can uh, do either a Zoom or a Skype appointment or FaceTime, I have all the options. And oh yeah, are you also doing stuff in your Brooklyn studio? Are you doing appointments or by? Yeah, by yeah appointment? they can also come uh, and make an appointment to show the pieces uh, in uh, reality, because I can imagine that at different angles, it's a, uh, you would want to see the piece a bit different because with metal the angles uh, it's hard to see on the website what you actually uh, what it actually is like in reality so yeah i will uh, also that's the way to uh, contact me would be by email to make an by email okay we're posting your website and i know your website's on there so people will be able to reach out can you yeah. show us again that necklace i really love this one i want to make is there anything else please point out anything else you want to show people but that necklace, yes. Can we see that again? This, yeah, this one is... Um, and the earrings that go with it. It's a, um, a one-of-a-kind piece. Oh. This is the one you meant, right? Yes, I love it. And I love the earrings too. Yeah, these are uh, made with the same technique as, uh, as my um, artwork. And uh, they are uh, patina on copper. So uh, they're always a bit different. So they're truly one-of-a-kind pieces. And for that reason, it's sometimes a bit hard to keep up with the website on these uh, style pieces because, um, yeah, I mostly make one of them and then it gets sold. So um, there's not that much on the, on the website. And you have this. I love this. You know, so people would have to contact you a little because these are really special. You also have that earring just if you have it close by that earring and the kombu, the silver and gold. Yeah. The shape is so lovely and sits up high on the ear and it is reflected so it really frames nice this is, i love yeah, this I do this kind of uh, three-dimensional yeah. earring in uh, pretty much any color you can imagine so i have silver uh, just silver but also silver and gold mixture and then silver and gold a uh, bit oxidized mm. and they also come uh, just one size smaller like that so these are uh, three-quarter inch length Oh, nice. Just little. Perfect. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. We'll have time for more after, but I, I wanted to make sure we saw those because those are one of my favorite earrings. Okay. Oh, great. Thank you so much. Thank you. thank you so much, sweetie. Okay. On to our next artist. We're going to be hearing from Gail Travis of NFP New Form Perspective. Gail, welcome. Thank you so much. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Yes. Um, okay, cool. Perfect. <laughs> um, yeah, so first off, thank you Art Party Central for inviting me to be um, participating today. Uh, as we know with COVID, it's, it's been a little hard for us artists who have very interactive and convertible products. So this is fun to be able to share things with you guys. Um, so yes, I'm Gail Travis. Um, the, I founded um, the company in 2009 and I call it New Form Perspective with the concept being that I design new forms for you to then develop your own perspective. Um, so everything that I designed primarily focused in knitwear and fully fashioned sweaters. Um, I do it with the concept that there's versatility to it. Um, they're timeless pieces, uh, not rooted in any sort of trend. Um, my inspiration I draw heavily from sculpture and architecture. And I think that really translates through the pieces as I'll show you shortly, um, through the stitch work that you'll see, um, the different shapes of the seams and details. So I would love to just kind of walk you through some of my signature and core designs, and then also highlight some of my new fall 2020 pieces that I brought in for this season. Um, so to get started, I'll show you, um, this cardigan shape here, um, the style number is N49, and they're all on my website and every piece has its own little tutorial video. So you have access to that there. Um, but what's great about these pieces is there's always a lot of hidden components in them. Um, this style comes with these detachable hand warmers. So if you can see, I use these um, snaps, this hardware, so it really is a great utility. And a lot of the pieces will have little hidden pockets or storage compartments somewhere. So these you can attach or detach. 
And I'll just show you how this one transforms. So you basically snap this under your shoulder. This comes across. And now what you'll see are the, the cool seam um, details and stitch work. This style does have pockets also in the hem. And if you wanted, you can make this more of a tailored shape just by snapping this together. So you have more of a motorcycle jacket feeling. Uh, but what's great is now with this one, we can turn it upside down. So when you go this direction, you obviously have more of a cropped shape but you could choose to match the snaps in the front or you take these snaps here at the, the edges and we're just wrapping it behind the neck. So this now gives you this really cool cropped shape, which is great if you want something just a little bit more tailored and short. Um, the style I have on right now is in a merino wool, but I also did this one in 100% cotton, which is new this season as well. Um, so next I will show you this design here. Uh, I do it by style number. So this one's um, N86. And what's great about this piece is you have these fine gauge sleeves sort of built into the sweater. So when you push this up, kind of gives this um, cap sleeve effect. And I'll just show you closely. This is a waffle stitch that I did. It's very lightweight, even though it kind of has a nice chunky texture to it. Um, has pockets here in the hem. You can see the stitch work in the back. And with this one, the upside down way is always my favorite. So now when we go here, so when you're this direction, a lot of my designs will come with some type of signature pin. So this one comes with this um, mattress needle or knitting needle. So with this, what you can do is you tuck this here and with the pin, it just simply goes right into the, the sweater and it holds it into whatever shape you want. So then you can see how the back is on this one. But this one's really great. Again, I did this one also in a cotton yarn uh, without the sleeve. So I'm. You definitely have a variation between the different fibers. Um, and then if I have time, I'll show you just quickly one of the new accessory shapes. So this piece here, you can start off by wearing it as a little capelet. So you can see the back. But with just a really simple transformation, all you do is unsnap here and you just twist it and now you're going to have a vest shape. And one of the new pieces that you can add on to this piece, which is brand new also this season, um, are these little uh, sleeves and inside you have a little hidden pocket in the back. So this is a, a new little shape for me. And then it has these cool full, like a fuller sleeve and everything always has the thumb holes, but this one's pretty fun to play with. Um, again, this one is a uh, super fine merino wool as well. So I have plenty more I can show, another signature one, but I don't know if Megan, you wanna ask any questions? Yes, Gail, yeah, well, I love, you also showed another sleeve one earlier that wrapped around, can you show that again? I Yes. That's my ultimate favorite, I was like, oh, that's not it. Okay, you have so many <laughs> I know, uh, yeah, this one, I should never uh, pass this one up. So this, this is one definitely, this yeah. yeah. And this one I do in different weights. So this comes in um, a cashmere and cotton blends. So yeah, with this mm -hmm. style, you can mm -hmm. wrap it. it. Could be a really great, easy scarf shape. Or all you do, there's two main directions you can go. So the first is you pull the one sleeve on here and you wrap it once around the neck. So now that when you're here, you just have a nice cowl drape in the front and you can um, use the signature pin if you want that comes with it to hold it into place. And the back is nice, it's just a simple crisscross. And then the other direction, so this cute. is more of like a, like a shawl shape. So you just go up and across the body. And then this just pulls into shape here. But these are all really great pieces um, 
if you travel mm -hmm. or when COVID's over and we start traveling again, you just need a few pieces in your suitcase and then you kind of can reinvent things throughout the entire time you're away somewhere. I think it's good for at home when you're just, you need to pop onto a Zoom thing and not look ragged. This is you true. Look there nice. are Zoom yeah. pieces now. This is very true. <laughs> like upscale, cozy. <laughs> we need to look put together, but we be realistic about where, we're, where we are. Okay, I think so many great things. We, I know, oh, what's the style number on that one real quick before we go? Yeah, this one is NA08, the sleeve shrug. NA08, okay. We have uh, definitely more questions. We're, we, people, stay tuned for the end and we're gonna, we'll get back to you. Thank you so much. Oh, this is, I love that piece. This is like a little snippet. Three different extra sleeve things. Okay, okay. Our next artist is, wait, I'm gonna look. Our next artist is Clara Applewhite Mitchell. Clara, welcome. Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Thanks for being here. And thank you to the Art Party Central crew for creating this platform. My name is Clara Applewhite, De Clara Applewhite Mitchell of Clara Applewhite Designs. I am a teacher, printmaker, textile designer, but I will be showing you the Guta Serti process which is silk painting. Uh, it is a resist process, very like batik and tie dye. And basically you're using a glue. It looks like a glue. I use a glue just in this tube with a stylus, a metal stylus at the end. And you draw the design onto the silk, just as you see those gray lines there. And once it's drawn and dried, you apply the dye. And this is like in the process and the finished process. Now, the dye, I'm calling it dye, but it really is paint. This particular uh, process has gone through a lot of changes since I learned it. The dyes and the paints used to be toxic it took them 10 to 15 years to make it less toxic. So now you can work with the dyes and the paints for long periods of time, as long as the rooms are well ventilated. So the exact process, the Guta Serati process, the example is once everything is dry and it's heat set, you wash it out with hot water and industrial soap and you get the glue out, which creates the white lines. So, so this is an example of the Guta Serti technique. Then you can also do to get texture. It's called a watercolor, silk painting watercolor technique, which is wet on wet. So the scarf is wet, spritz down with water, and then you apply the paint, the paint, and you sprinkle silk salt to get these little textural pieces there. The silk actually draws the dye into each crystal. Once that is dry, you dust the silk crystals off and you can reuse them. So you get that texture. Now doing these scarves will take me about a day. This one will be two to three days depending on how much detail I have on it. The other technique is called a direct painting, which is taking the dye the paint and painting it directly on the scarf. So you're going to get a little bit of bleeding. So with each layer of paint, you allow it to dry and then you apply another paint layer on it. So most of the scarves are silk habutai, 10 memes, and they are 12, 13, and 14 inches wide, 70 inches long. This is this one that I have on is an example of direct painting. So they're 17 inches long and I try, I have to buy the yardage of silk and I cut and I hem and I try not to waste anything at all. So you have the silk scarves that you use. I also do silk ties. Don't forget the men. Caftans for the evening wear. This is one of the caftans. And again, the men can't be forgotten. They've got their silk shoes, but quite a few of my ladies use this like a jacket over their 
Bali leotards. The care is simple and easy. It's cold water and you wash it with a very soft liquid soap and you iron it with a hot iron while it's damp and that's it. Silk is just as almost as warm as wool. I perspire a lot and when I tie these things around my neck in winter it is just you know I, I start peeling it off so you know it's easy to use and it's lovely and bright any questions? Yes, Clara, thank you. Thank you. I love learning about the process. And I love that you have, it seems like you have different motifs for every collection. What can you tell us about this current collection a little bit? This current collection is called Morocco. So most of the pieces in this line are based on Moroccan architectural and rug features, the motifs. Cool. So because I'm a textile designer, I apply, you know, whatever it is I do on a surface for women's wear and apply the colors. I am, you can hear the accent, I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. So I do a lot of rug designs, textile designs. I also have themes from the trend. I love the modern artists both international and West Indian. So there are years, like one year I did Mondrian, another time I did the uh, textiles of Ghana beads, the trade beads. Mm. I took the, and some of them are like the Chevron design. This is from a Ghana trade bead. There's the bead there and I just, you know, stretched it out. And it, a lot of it comes especially the color comes from my native Trinidad and Tobago. I live in a fishing village and there's a lot of flora and fauna around me. So once winter hits here, I need the color around me. <laughs> <laughs> to combat the cold, totally. Yes. Yeah, I got you. I'm from California originally. It is hard for me. <laughs> yes, yes. I, I, can, I wear a lot of bright lipstick. I can see it in your designs. I went, I, I peeked at your website and it's, you, you invite people with your tropical uh, color schemes. And I, we talked a little, someone had asked about your inspiration. I think you, I think we really understand a little bit more. Do you also do commissions? Yes, I do. I have done commissions. I mean, as I said, the men get very jealous. So I do a lot of, you know, muted designs, but they also want to get, you know, any of these masculine looking designs they want it on the shirt, so I do the shirts for them, or the ties. I have done a wedding ensemble, the mother of a groom. They were getting married in Florida. So she brought me her own silk dress, and it's in the time when they were the handkerchief hems. Mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. She had nine of those hems, so I did a beautiful hibiscus, soft hibiscus watery color uh, design, and the husband got jealous, so I did a tie for him and then she found a, sh a shawl. So I did a, I don't know if you know the Shibori technique, which is really yes. interesting for her shawl. And it really looked really nice. And of course I've done a couple of kaftans as well. So lovely. No problem. Okay, so we'll have to reach out to you for, for a little commission. Okay, thank you so much, Clara. Thank you. Thank We're you. on to our next artist. More at the end, well, I wanna try kaftans on, okay. Our next artist we're going to be speaking to is Barry Gross, BG Art Farms. Barry, welcome. Hi. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So um, my technique or my my basic style for all these are my pens. Um, my specialty is creating fine writing instruments or pens. Uh, and I started out as a sales manager for a sales company over 35 years ago. And um, I started as with a hobby, basically just making pens on the side. And um, out of wood, recycled wood, things like that, all recycled items. And then it gradually, you know, changed over the years. I wanted to do some different things. And so I started using a lot of recycled materials like watch parts, whiskey barrels, cigar leaves, you know, like something like, you know, this is an actual cigar leaf. And I take these and I wrap them around the, the, the pen tubes and go from there. Um, surgical knives. And I'm going to show you those 
abalone shells, shark vertebrae. Um, these are fossilized shark vertebrae that, um, that I get. And then I put them on there and then coat the whole thing in acrylic. And I'll show you the acrylic later. But we use all kinds of things, circuit boards. Um, I take it, other ones, these are shredded credit cards. So anything that I can think of to make a pen out of, I make a pen out of it. You know, they're great for corporate gifts. Um, everybody says, well, what do you need a pen for now that we have, you know, smartphones? Well, you still need a pen every now and then to write things. People are using more and more pens for journaling. Um, they love writing. So um, it works out good. You know, last year we did the um, Grand Central Terminal show. Obviously, we're not doing that this year because of COVID. But I'd say about 40% of my sales were fountain pens. So fountain pens are making a resurgence and people really like writing with them. So um, what I wanna show you are some different styles of pens. I have over 200 different styles on the website. So um, you know, if, you, if you have something, if you have something in mind, I probably have done it, or if I haven't done it, I can do it for you because I do commissions. I do Zoom appointments. Um, I teach pen making all over the country. Um, I work with a, the woodworking shows and I travel with them teaching people how to make pens. So either with Zoom, um, you know, Zoom appointments or classes, you know, we can do something with it. But let me just show you a couple of things that we've got over here. Um, as I said before, I use a lot of recycled material. These are circuit boards. They're real circuit boards. I take them and I wrap them around the, around the pen. This is my steampunk circuit board and kind of a steampunkish theme, you know, going back to the Victorian days. Uh, these are all inlaid. They're cut with a laser. And then each star is put in there by hand. All of my pens come with matching boxes or most of them come with matching boxes to make it more of a complete gift. These are my signature pieces. These are watch parts. This is a real Rolex dial. This is a real Frank Muller dial. And I take the old watches that I get at flea markets that are gonna be thrown away. I take them, I take them apart and I glue each piece on there. So there's literally hundreds of pieces of watches on there. We do the same with, these are abalone shells. And this one happens to be a magnetic that I can put this and, and pop it on the back like that. So, um, and then of course, I do a lot with um, old Mickey Mouse watches. Use those as well. And um, we've got a number of other things that we've got. And I'll flip over the camera over here and give you a, a peek. Well, maybe I won't. Well, come on. <laughs> It'll come in there soon. Let's go back over here. There you go. Um, all right, so as I said before, my pens come with matching boxes. And um, this one is the cigar leaf one, the wrapper. This is a Fuente or an Opus X cigar. And then it comes with the box. We've got, these are uh, dragon scales. And dragon scales are really hard to come by this time of year, but um, we still get them. And uh, this is from my, uh, from the Th Game of Thrones pens. We've got pens for animal lovers. We've got a cat pen up there with cat chasing a mouse in a paw box. This is uh, more of the uh, watch gear parts with a, a train motif. Here's for the dog lovers. And then these are for the professionals. We've got, I have a whole line of nurses, doctors, lawyers, all of those. And this particular one, all of this is cut with a laser and then put back together. And these are actual surgical knives. I take old surgical knives that have been cleaned um, and then I put them on the, on the pen and I encase it in acrylic. The acrylic looks something like this. This is one of my um, abalone shells and these are in the mold with all the acrylic on it, poured over it. When they come out of the mold, they look like this. This happens to be a angry so orchard an so angry that's orchard awesome. one. <laughs> Wait, yep. so okay, before we okay, wait, before we get I'm gonna start asking you questions before we get crazy here. I okay. love seeing the, the okay, I love that with the matching box always. Go ahead. And I'm here. Me, tell us about that box. Tell us about yeah. this box right here. This is this is the USS New Jersey. This is the most decorated battleship um, that has ever been, you know, made basically. These uh, the wood from that is from the teak deck from the actual um, ship when they, when they refurbished it. But um, as I said, this is the most decorated warship 
Wait, so uh, limited yeah, edition see. number of those, right? I've limited edition. There's yeah. about, uh, I've got about 20 made and I'll probably have wind up with about 25 total. So oh, wow. but okay. that's that. So that's basically the whole collection of what we have. And again, you know, we've got a number of different styles for you. So awesome. ask away, Patrice. <laughs> okay, yes. Okay, my first question for you, is it difficult to work with natural materials? Yeah, Such as is. like the tobacco leaves and the wood, the tobacco leaves seem very delicate. It is. Um, what I have to do is I have to moisten them first, get them nice and supple. And then when I wrap them, I have to, at that point, do it very quickly, put my label over top of it and then get it in that mold so um, I can pour the acrylic on it before it dries out. If it dries out, then it get, you get too many air bubbles and it ruins it. Well, it's very scientific. Oh, no. It's art just... <laughs> mixed, with, with, mixed with functional because these have to work as well. Are they also refillable? I know. Absolutely, you have little... they're refillable. That's a great all question. You, all you do is unscrew the front, take it out like this. Mm. And this is a standard Parker refill. You can get those anywhere. Office Max, Staples, anywhere like that. But also your website, do you have stuff? Do I, have you have... On the, I have those on the website, they are there. Um, any, I have refills, I have all those things there on the website. I love that. Do you have like just an approximation, like how long is it, this, I'm, I know this is like the, such a weird artist question. How no. long does it take to make a pen? <laughs> I mean, I can, I can make a wooden pen in an hour, but it, you know, the, the more complicated ones, the, the watch parts, those, they can take days. It takes me almost mm -hmm. eight hours to glue all the pieces on. And then when you put it in the mold and this is drying, this is the third day for this one. So these are about ready to pop out um, and start working with them. But, you know, then you have to take it, put it on the lathe and turn it. So th there's all different times. And I, I can't actually tell you one piece takes three hours or four hours or eight hours. But I know, you know, the ones that, that uh, with the watch parts are at least eight to 10 hours. Dang. Okay. So it, it varies. It depends on how special you are and how specialized the materials are. So thank you, Barry, for sharing that sound. And people can reach out to you for commissions as yep, well. I do that all the time. I mean, I do, I do animals. I do their, you know, their dogs, awesome. their cats, their grandkids, everything. Oh, awesome. Barry, thank you so much for sharing. More thank questions you, at Megan. the end. Thank you. Thank you. More questions at the end. We're going to, I just, I want to wrap it up and before we get we get into the raffle, I want to thank all the artists for sharing their stories and showing us their incredible work. I want to also thank you as well for being here. Thanks for being here and listening to us and being a part of our community. Before we draw the six raffle prizes, um, we want to we are here to, to tell you that we you are why we are we do this work and why we've created this virtual environment we miss seeing people at, in real life we've been to many shows we've met we've met many of you and we are not anticipating doing a lot of in real life or in-person shows in the future we're more limited um so many of you do recognize the challenges artists are facing without shows and asked us how to help the easiest way to help us in, as artists and small businesses um is to come back and come to the parties rsgp you tell your friends Follow us on social media. We're on Facebook, Instagram, and Pinterest. Um, likes and shares. You know, all of these artists also have social media. They have their own websites. Just if you're not um, interested in purchasing, you're also just be part of their community as well, which means liking and sharing and being part of their social media. Um, we are loving having this platform to connect again, and we would love for it to grow as well. So we're doing parties on this Saturday and we're doing a, like three per week through the holidays. So we're trying to uh, really be, be aware of what's happening as the holidays come up and we'd love to, for you to support us. We're gonna have a new curation of artists every time. So it'll feel really fresh and fun. It's typically 2.30, 5.30 on Saturdays and 3.30 and 7.30 Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, we, okay, I think I followed everything, boom, okay. Uh, we're ready now to announce the winners, so please feel free to unmute yourselves, turn your cameras on. We're going to cheers, everybody. And as I announce the winners of the $50 gift certificates, I would love for the winners to please put their emails into the chat over here. And the chat will, will, 
the admin will make sure to record those. If you're not comfortable putting in there, please direct message the admin, admin at Swan and Stone, and you can put in uh, your, your, thank you, Nora. Thank you for your email in there. So we can make sure to get you that code for each, for your winning, what, for your winning uh, discount. Okay, without further ado, please unmute yourself. Please turn your cameras on. We are ready to announce some raffle winners. Our first winner is, okay. I need to find it. So, okay, here we go. Our first winner for our first presenter, our first artist who is Ecologic, Kathleen. And your, your winner is Carrie Wozolowski. Yeah. Woo! 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 I said that wrong. I'm sorry, but welcome and congrats. Woo, Carrie, you have won a gift to be given from Ecologic. Oh, cool. Okay. Our second winner for Joy Stember Metal Arts is Amy Miller. Amy Miller, please put your stand up. You are a winner. And welcome. And please put your email into the chat. Our third winner for Nature versus Future is Anne Weinman. Anne, welcome. Congratulations. Thank you for being here. You have won a gift ticket from Nature versus Future. Our fourth winner for Judith Haas Jewelry and Art is Lisa. Cooney. Lisa Cooney, you won a gift certificate with Ross Jewelry and Art. Woo! Please put your email in the chat. Our fifth winner for NFP New Form Perspective is Cole Godfrey. No, I did that wrong. <laughs> we have four, four. No, our fifth winner is Cole Godfrey. Yes. Paul Godfrey, please put your email in the chat. You're a winner for NFE New Form Perspective. Our sixth winner for Clara Applewhite Designs is Louise Howell. Louise, you're a winner. Please put your email in the chat. Then our seventh winner for Berry Gross BG Art Forms is Paula Solomon. Paula Solomon, you're Congratulations, a Paula. Hey. Email in the chat. Thank you. You guys, what a pleasure. And because really, congratulations to all the winners. And again, I cannot express what a pleasure it is to have you here and to be able to host this amazing group of artists. Everybody here is a is a winner in our eyes so we're giving you all a 10 percent discount code to all the websites that were presented tonight that coupon code is good through november 30th so please head over to the websites we did pop the websites in the chat but don't fret if you miss those we're going to be sending you a follow-up email with everybody's website as well as the discount codes so you don't have to record anything right now but i am going to give you the code right now just just in case so that coupon code for today's party is NOV24, A-R-T-P-A-R-T-Y. That's November 24th, Art Party. So um, we're again, we are sending an email with all this information. And I want to say again, thank you. I am Megan Patrice Riley. It was my pleasure to host you. I want to say thank you again to Nora and Sam from Swan and Stone for co-hosting. And for Kathleen, who is another co-founder, who was a wonderful presenter tonight, and at all all the artists for being so so amazing with sharing their time with us. Um, please feel free to unmute yourselves and have your camera on. We're we'd love to answer more questions. I know we did not get to all the questions. We can show you more art, more pieces. Um, feel free to shout out if you have something you're wearing. You'd love to model it for us too. Megan, I actually have something I was wondering if you can tell everybody about our new VIP program to where they can really oh, yes. us reach more artists and be better at what we do. Yes, we, we just started a new VIP program for the holidays and it's where you, it's a little, it's a little VIP program for Art Party Central. You become part of our club basically and you get all the discount codes you don't have to register on Eventbrite ever again. You are pre-registered. Eventbrite is awesome for recording things, but it can be a little bit difficult. So you're pre-registered for everything. We're also having a holiday party. So we'll have a special holiday party where all the artists are gonna be there. 
and we'll be doing a lot of the founders are going to be doing giveaways, special uh, art giveaways. <laughs> Anything else I'm missing, Kathleen? I think that's it. That is a really neat program because, um, you know, Art Party Central really happened because all of us came together to figure out how to support each other. And, you know, sometimes that comes directly out of our pockets um, and we may not have quite enough. So we just signed this VIP program to help you so you don't have to be at every party if you can't be. But if you want to support all of the artists and go shopping and get a discount, join our VIP list. It's a real easy way to stay connected. Um, and we're, we'll be thrilled to have you do that. That's awesome. I mean, we, have, we have how many artists? Like over 40? 50 yes, we have a crazy. lot of, we will i'm not sure i don't quote me on the numbers we no, have I, a nice group we're 40 yeah. until the holidays so like when you calculate you're going to save 10 percent on every one and you just get that code and you don't have to be you know obviously you can watch those videos anytime you want but our schedules are getting busier and busier so we wanted everyone to have access without worrying about oh my gosh i'm i can't see it for a week and, I, and it, it's going to expire this weekend uh i can't make but we also, we love mm -hmm. having you at the party. So I'm going to say, you can always pop in because we love you. So, it's, yeah, fun to, yeah. we, it's fun. We, it's, we don't want, you guys show up and turn your cameras on. And that is, I do a ton of Zoom things and people don't do that. Right. You guys do. And that gives us a lot okay. as artists. It gives us really good feedback. Mm -hmm. Does anybody have any questions? Can we show you anything? Cole, I'm super excited for you to have one from Gail. You are just gonna love her work. Oh. Yeah. And and even uh, Nina, I mean, I, I miss all of you. We would be at Grand Central right now saying hi to each other in person. So, yeah. Uh, what, what did you say, Charlie? <laughs> Yes, giving each other bathroom breaks and supporting each other. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear Charlie in the background, my, my partner, um, but it's so nice to see everybody here. Oh, and by the way, I got to thank you from the audit department. Yeah. To the manager. Ben. Is that for us or for somebody else? I'm not sure. <laughs> If, if you don't want us to hear uh, or anybody else, I know we missed some questions. I know there's some more things people maybe want to see or try on. I, we did not look at everything. Look at this cute baby. Hi, Amy. The information was, was excellent. We missed all oh, the That's great. Why am I looking at a baby? Because it's and feel Amanda and Eddie's newest <laughs> brand. Well, we're not seeing the baby. <laughs> yeah, show us the baby. Yeah. yeah. The baby? Missing out on things. <laughs> oh my gosh. And if the artists want, want to show us things, because I know we miss stuff. <laughs> yeah. Gary, your, your Christmas tree and your hat and packages are so much fun. Thank you. I was actually, I had to film a video for a choir I sing in for a virtual um, sing-along that we're going to have for their tree lighting because we can't be there. So I was filming something and I just then jumped on this Zoom. So. Oh, thank you. you. Love it. Thanks for being here. Yeah. I'm excited that I won. I love, I love everything. And I think it's going to be like hats and gloves or something. I love those fingerless gloves and I love the hats. I have a whole collection of hats. So now I'll have your hats too. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. Oh, that's thank you. the best part of being on these and connecting. And Sarah, your, your flowers on your face. <laughs> I know. I love yours. What happened there? Oh. We make, we're making you talk. Hi. <laughs> I haven't I seen you today. I discovered Snap Camera. It's and cute. Change like all your um, like I can. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <Extra>. Or. <laughs> <laughs> are you doing I don't, anyone doing anything fun for Thanksgiving? I feel. Like... I want to drink whatever Sarah's drinking. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, so happy. <laughs> She ready. Do you want to see anything? Anybody want to see anything? Are we missing? I don't know what's going on. It's like, 
is it does it feel like a holiday does people still feel like it's a holiday even though no. it's so We're out of time <laughs> it feels like out of time right is it's anybody right. going to be with family are you going to have any gatherings more than four people anyone <laughs> no. <laughs> Moms, no no but I, I will tell you i'm making I, I, just going to be my husband and I, and I'm making so much food that we are going to be so fat. It's a good thing I'm wearing stretchy clothes. It's, are you doing the full turkey? No, I'm just doing a turkey breast, but I'm, and, and I, I love to cook. So I'm doing everything from scratch, but I'm doing like our traditional, we do a traditional nutty brown rice stuffing, mm. potatoes and rutabagas, um, and a green bean cra casserole from stra uh, scratch where you make you make the homemade the mushroom, mushroom. mushroom yes and, nice. and you and you you pan fry your own onions mm. um, homemade um homemade uh, uh cheesecake a uh, pumpkin cheesecake mm. um so uh yeah so uh yeah Thank we're so gonna hungry. Have too much food but that's okay lots of leftovers right and oh and, my gosh and we have we have friends in our neighborhood drive up to your house and you could bring them a plate outside yeah. <laughs> there we go but we do we do have um my husband's co several co-workers live in the neighborhood so we will be passing out pumpkin cheesecake which is excellent really nice. good nice. It's delicious it's a it's a paula dean recipe and it is the best pumpkin cheesecake in the world mm -hmm. oh my god i'm inspired i feel very inspired by your your <laughs> That sounds delicious. Yeah. So I'm. I'm actually. I'm looking forward to just like making it and eating it. So. <laughs> no, I. I was really laughing about the uh, getting the those COVID extra um, pounds that m a lot of us have acquired over the last six months. <laughs> I'm like, thank goodness I make things that stretch. That's yeah. all I have to say about that. Um, yeah, the only, I, I had COVID, I had the, I had the, early on, I got sick. Um, and I lost like, um, like seven pounds. <laughs> oh my goodness. Only more. Well, I've had more to the Thanksgiving. Yes, yeah, so I've had weight to put on. I, I have weight to put on. So. Oh, glad you're better. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I, and I, I had what was considered to be a mild case, even though it sucked. I was sick. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't have to go to the hospital, so that I guess that makes it mild. <laughs> yes. Yeah, Thank you. you're all right. Yeah, that's the important thing. And, and my husband's fine. He had a much milder case than I did. It's so funny how it all turns out, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think the key is not to have respiratory problems, but oh yeah. For sure. But I am being but very thankful Thanksgiving. Yes, exactly. Yeah. So I, I wear my I wear my mask and goggles. And when I'm not wearing my glasses, I wear goggles over my, um, goggles over my eyes and my mask and I'm just I try to be as protective as possible. Yeah. Thanks. Oh cool. I love all this. People are like putting all sorts of cool things in here. Okay. Yeah. I, I am wearing. So much cool. oh, I love this. I'm wearing a nature versus future jacket, and I'm, I love that. By the way, thank you for modeling. So it's it's a, and it, it's one of the originals. I mean, I'll stand up. See, it's it's one of yeah. The oh, with the double oh, the double nice. breasts. Did you see that, Nina? That's so cute. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I'm on my iPhone and I I can't really see everyone, but now I'm scrolling and now I see it. Oh, cool! Thank you. Stand up. See. I know it is hard to see. I know with. Yeah, yeah, now the literally, it's, it is so warm and cozy that I had to turn I turned the uh, temperature down in the apartment. But I have a, a couple of NFP studio sweaters, which I oh, absolutely awesome. love. And my um, my niece stole my Judas Hoth um, bracelet. Which, you know, oh, she must have good taste. So much she took it. <laughs> good. Oh. That's awesome. So you're local then also, then you're New York? Yes, yes. So yes. I, I like, spent many hours at the Grand Central. Yes. Um, in fact, I actually work in Connecticut, so I would go um, through Grand Central commuting. So I would like stop on my, 
I would go in and we, oh, I think I'll stop and see what's going on and, you know, pick up some gifts. Yeah. Good shopping and good food. When it was open, there's always like little nibbly good food and mm -hmm. uh, Magnolia. Magnolia is still open, I believe. I yep. think so. I want. The only thing that is open mm. in the basement. <laughs> I'm sure they're still doing fine because it's Magnolia. The, they have a Magnolia mm. here on the Upper West Side, and there is always a line outside. I mean, on the weekends, anyway, there's always a I line. I believe it. I yeah. believe it. I only see lines for COVID testing these days. <laughs> Everybody's getting tested, I think, to travel for the holidays. Yeah. Long yeah. lines. Well, it was so funny. Um, uh, Charlie said to me today, he's like, you know, it's so sad. This is the first time we're home for the holidays in like 10 years. And we don't get to, we can't gather with friends. We can't go to holiday parties or have oh, yeah. anything. <laughs> It's just kind of funny. Well, we're going to enjoy being home for Thanksgiving anyway, but uh, definitely and, everybody. And not working so crazy. Yeah. Are you guys doing Artist Sunday, Cyber, Sa Small Business Saturday, all that, artists? Uh, I am available for that, but I haven't really done much. How about you? I don't know. I'm doing, a, I wanted, I just signed up for Artist Sunday. It's a new initiative but also i always do shop the saturday okay what small is the business small business first? saturday so, yeah hmm. just like hashtag about it and talk about being a small business <laughs> <laughs> all my social media i figured since we're doing an art party that sort of means we're contributing we're we are yes yeah, I mean, oh yeah we're doing an art yeah. party that day yes yeah, you're doing one too it's it's you it's and us yeah i mean and for others yes did you yeah. you know what i don't think we didn't put that in the script and i don't know who's that was the script huh normally we try to i know the script changed so i i just yeah i want to look i don't remember who everybody is i put i just did a whole email about it i just wrote in my newsletter also i had my newsletter i just gave did two giveaways super fun and posted like fun stuff about our art party today and our art party on Saturday because yeah oh well we it's coming up I have it right here hold on um, what is the thing you do on Sunday is that also online yeah I artist so, right? Sunday I just posted about it in my Instagram and it's a new initiative that just started sounds good yeah looks great more awareness is better. Okay, we have, oh my God, Saturday's gonna be great. We have Bottle Studio, Ahelio Bado from, he is from San Francisco and he does these amazing graphite like sculptures that are functional. They're pencils you can draw with that are little hands that are cast from his son's hands. They're gorgeous. And he has feathers, like kind of like mimicking quills, but little ones that are functional graphite objects that you can draw with. He does, he's done all the, he has many and he's, he has created collections for museums across the country, internationally. He's a wonderful person. There's also jewels from Suzanne Schwartz, a uh, local New, New Jersey New, or New York, a Hudson maker. She's more fine jewelry, with pearls, gold, silver, um, fabrication. We have Swan and Stone who's here right now, you can see us sampling. Nora is wearing a beautiful hat right now, as well as Sam, blue hat, beautiful. And we have Daryl Stores, a rich fine art, pastels, a, I believe acrylics, more vibrant colors, leather handbags and clutches from Crystal Kodata, New Jersey artist, who I met, I met actually a couple years ago at an art show, and then I'll be showing as well. So we've been making a shot. Yeah, all in the chat too. But your descriptions were fuller than mine. Yeah. Posting. But, but most Party? importantly, everyone should make sure they're checking in on ourpartycentral.org because um, we keep putting all the new parties up there. And we put the archives from this one, so you guys, if you missed it, we're gonna post it so you can post to your followers and the people that are part of your social media, so they can, if they missed it, you can get a little snippet. Right. they can always see your video later yeah, yeah. i think that's in this world where we, it's hard to show up sometimes but it's people binge binge
binge watch. So we're doing a lot of recordings. Awesome. I think if there's no other question, yeah, I think thanks you guys so much. I mean, if you we're gonna wrap it up. It's nine o'clock. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank Everybody you. have a wonderful Saturday. time. Happy Saturday. Saturday. Enjoy. Thanks you guys. Yes. See everyone Saturday. Bye. Thank you, guys. Thank you to Bye. all the artists Bye. for being amazing, yeah. showing up and showing work. Thank you.